Scheiße. Welcome back to another episode of the Shocker of the Week. Today, we're gonna talk about strongmen. Today I want to introduce you to a strongman routine from one of the strongest men alive, Brian Shaw. He weighs over 420 pounds and he lifts heavy weights for a living, which is pretty impressive. I'm super happy that my friend Nadim's here today because he has a lot of experience when it comes to strongmen. Um, workouts, the technique is really important. Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm a little nervous because uh, you told me you only have like one big tire, so yeah. a tire flip is going to be difficult for me because my best tire flip lift was 450 pounds. Well, our, our tire is made for like the professional strongman. That's like 800 well, pounds. Well, I cannot do that. So but. if you could do it, we could show you the technique. You might be able to get it up. Uh, but Let's everything else it. we have is like uh, professional strongman equipment. It's gonna be fun. Okay, so um, we're gonna do tire. Let's say we're gonna attempt a tire flip. Yeah. Um, Atlas stone. Atlas how, stone. How heavy is that one? It's uh, the stone divides in half, and you can put plates inside of it. Oh, that's awesome! So, so we can, make can it anyway. so we can cheat a little bit. So the lightest, <laughs> the lightest it could be is 130 pounds, which is still pretty heavy. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna do that. What yeah. about sandbag? We have a few different sandbags. Uh, it's gonna be very awkward to carry, but that's gonna test your ability to like carry things in an awkward way. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> and then farmers walk. We have an uh, actual farmer's walk uh, machine. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's the, the same thing that they use in the strongman competition. Yeah. Or if you guys don't have that, like if you're trying to do this at home, you could use just dumbbells. And last but not least, uh, log lift. We have that too? We have two different log lifts. Uh, so log carry, we can yeah. do all this stuff. Perfect, okay, that's what we're gonna do today. Okay, before we start the workout, it's really important for this one, very specific warm up is necessary. Do you know, do you have like a specific routine to do a specific warm up for the strongman workouts or is it just like a regular general warm up and then a specific warm up for each exercise? Uh, so mainly when you're going into any exercise, you'd wanna warm up that specific body type. I would warm up everything, your whole body. So, yeah. uh, I would do a, maybe like a slight jog, maybe do some jump rope, and then we'll go into the more specific ones, mm -hmm. and we'll start you off with the lightest like exercise. Because it's like the same Perfect. thing if you're benching, start off with a bar and then add yeah. weight, uh, same thing with these exercises. Perfect, let's do it. That's it. This one. How heavy is it? Uh, I think 750 pounds. Okay, that tire is 750 pounds. My best lift was, like I said, 450. I don't know, 420, 450. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this, but should we try it, please? It's up to you. Let's try it. Strong man, boys. And girls. Brian, if you're watching this, please come by next time because we can't even put the tire out here. We need your help. Put him back in space. Yeah. Okay, so that's it, guys. We got it. That's that's uh, that's the exercise. You just push it. Jan, make sure that you get that so we can reverse it and it looks like I actually, you know. most important thing is it's not a curl yeah right that's where you could get injured you could do everything it's like have you ever done like CrossFit or like clean and stuff when you're picking up anything off the floor you're grabbing it and you're throwing it with your hip up right yeah. so the same thing with this is you're getting it under it and you're pushing like that way right so you have your yeah, you lean forward a little bit you right lean forward and you're pushing up and you use your hips to explode up right and then you have to get under it and catch it so that's the tricky part Ooh. of that transition okay so that makes makes it hard but yeah Keeps you safe. Do you want to show us how it's done? I've never attempted it. <laughs> I'm gonna try it for sure because I want to show you, but it's gonna be tough. It's double the weight that I did last time. Yeah. It's 
saw it. We saw it. It was, did you see it it? was moving. Did it you, was moving. Did you see I moved it a little bit. Yeah, that's the whole point. <sighs> Second attempt. Up, up, there you go. Up, up, up. Oh! Get ready, get ready. Fuck. Grab up the knee, go back. Come on, switch. Mental. Good job. All I did was, I mean, we didn't film the entire thing, but I took five minutes of just me preparing, like preparing myself for that lift. And I said to myself, you can do this. It's 400 pounds. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. And then for one second, I believed it. And all of a sudden, boom, get your cool. I'm so excited right now. Ha! Woo! Now I got to do one more to the back. Okay, that was the first exercise, tire flip. What I would suggest is, if it's really easy for you, do um, 10 sets, so 10 flips, and only one minute rest in between each flip. If it's heavy, like the one that I just did, um, just do five reps and take, I don't know, three to five minutes rest in between, and then you move on to the next exercise. The next exercise is farmer's walk. Nadim, where, where do we do that? So farmer's walk, we're gonna do inside the gym. So like I said, we do have the, the actual grips to actually do like a farmer's walk with plate loaded. Yeah. Uh, so the purpose of this is to stand tall. It works on your grip. It works on your overall core strength because this movement, it's it's gonna be uneven and shaky and the weight's distributed over a big, huge amount of space. Yeah. So it's not like holding dumbbells where it's easy and it's just all compacted right here. You're really gonna have to take the time to focus, be able to breathe, stand up tall, and move great distances without your forearms giving up. All right, let's do it. I'm super excited. Okay, that was pretty easy. Um, I really liked it because it challenges you in multiple ways. First of all, your grip strength, because that's where I felt it the most. Um, also, your abs, or your core is constantly engaged. Um, and I was pretty, mm, like I took super small steps because I wasn't you know, comfortable enough to take big steps. So how much was that? Uh, 160 each arm? Yeah. 160 pounds each arm. Another but, cool thing that it trains is your mental strength because you can hold on to it. It's just about telling yourself, okay, a few more steps, a few more steps. Yeah, and yeah. it really builds because this whole sport and it's like everything with training is just one more, one more, and it's you telling yourself. Same that. thing with the the the, with the tire, the, uh, the tire. Yeah, where it's just like you can do it, but if you if you give yourself a little doubt during the lift, you can't. So that was a good exercise. Let's move on to the next one. So for the log lift, there's a very specific technique to that and I'm gonna let uh, Nadim explain it real quick. I watched a bunch of videos, but I've never done this in my life. So Nadim, take over. Okay, so first thing saying, I'm no expert to this, <laughs> but I've had some uh, of my friends that are professional strongmen teach me. Uh, I probably will butcher it, but the biggest thing with this is like the same thing with uh, the tire. It's uh, not using your arms to lift the weight, not curling it up, using the momentum, using your hips to get up the weight and making sure that you do it in a correct form so you don't get hurt, right? So obviously the handles are facing this way, so you're gonna go down and grab it. And what you're doing is you're coming up kind of like a deadlift, but you're, you're rowing it into yourself here, right? Mm -hmm. And your arms are bent, you stay here, and you use your hips and the momentum to, to roll it up and your, your stomach, right? Yeah. So you come in, you roll it up, then you're here in a good break. And then from here, you use your legs and you don't let your knees go in. So your knees come out, they don't go in. Don't let your knees come in or forward, right? They come out and lock it up. Cool. Same thing on the way down. Don't just come down. You come down, let it roll. Right? And then you're, you're pulling 
as you shoot your hips up. There you go. Everything, with any lift that you ever do, everything derives from the hips. Same thing with fighting, right? It's not you're just pushing your stuff, it's, it's all twisted from the hips. So this will really attribute to other things, other sports. Right? Head up. Better. So I'm having one big problem, one big issue. My wrist, when I grab the bar, as soon as I bring it up, it opens up, which is bad. I need to support it right here. But right now, I probably don't have the, the wrist strength to just hold it, lock it in from here to here to here. But I'll work on it. Good, strong. Last up, come on. There you go. That's it. Yep. All right. Okay, we got two more exercises to go. One is the sandbag carry, and then we're gonna lift Atlas Stone. Um, the music is too loud inside, so yeah, we're just gonna do it, and I'm gonna talk about it after. was the shocker of the week today and um, yeah we did obviously the strongman workout the proofs uh, in the hands the proofs here um, recap uh, I'm really drained right now like I have no energy and I I mentioned that earlier it's not a workout that you would do and you're like you know I'm really tired just my chest I can't do any push-ups no more I can't squat anymore because uh, my legs are on fire every single muscle feels great but just in general I'm really exhausted and I think that's why this workout is a shocker of the week. So I'm honestly super shocked that Johannes got that tire. Like, oh not, yeah, me too. Nothing <laughs> that he could do that. Like, the, the dedication and then the, obviously you had to be strong to do that. Plus it's like a mental game, putting yourself in like being like, I can do this. Every inch that it moves is like, I'm pushing it harder, I'm pushing it harder. So, good shit on that. Appreciate um, it. He's picking up the movements really good, you know, like, so it's just, I gotta work on them though. Yeah, like sure. everything, it's like, once you, it's your first time doing it, it's gonna be bad. It's never gonna, like, unless you're like, insanely gifted. Yeah. But it's uh, the constant push to wanting to be better, which is always what we're doing anyway in the gym. Uh, other than that, it's like, this kind of like you're saying, this drained you, because this isn't like bodybuilding where you're just working out a single muscle or just working out the muscle in general. Uh, and it's also not like powerlifting where you have to lift in a certain motor pattern and you're pushing just this way, just this way, or like a deadlift. This is something like if you need to like someone's trapped on their car, this will gain you the strength. Not saying you're gonna lift a car or anything by yeah. doing this, but this is what you can attribute to uh, better and more uh, like in a quote unquote real strength. I think this is like, Raw strength, yeah. If that makes any sense. One, it looks cool. Yeah. Two, now it's like it's uh, making you feel like you're weak again. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's that whole thing of like, no, I know I'm strong, so I can move these movements. But it's like it's making you, it's forcing you to drop your ego yeah. to learn the movements and do it properly. And it's cool because we have we're in a, we're in the game of YouTube now that we can look at people <laughs> that have done it properly and there's so yeah. much uh, knowledge out there and then you guys watching this can learn from Johannes so it's like it's really cool just to have this out there now well said thank you so much for joining me and helping me yeah, especially yeah. with all the technique it was fun guys thank you so much for tuning in again that was the shocker of the week um, stay tuned for the next one next week till then 